This weekend, the Bundesliga starts all over again. And I mean, the English, they are just laughing because they've been playing football for a long time now. Right after the World Cup, they started before the Christmas, had their Boxing Day. And the Bundesliga, well, they start now, don't they? And talking about England, I will be a lot in England now as uh, via play. This is our main focus. But of course, I am so lucky that I have two loves in my football life. It's the Premier League and the Bundesliga. And I'm, I'm very excited about this weekend and the Rückrunde. So the second half of the season now starting with, with Leipzig uh, against Bayern Munich and then all the teams will play. And then they say, well, we have an English Woche, an English week, meaning that they have three games in one week. So it's going to be a, uh, a start that we all like, that excites all fans of German football. What do I look forward to in this uh, second half of the season? Well, first of all, the trophy will also go to Bayern this year, but it was closer than we thought. Bayern had a period where it didn't play so well. After the World Cup, Manuel Neuer was injured through some skiing. I can't believe that is allowed, but he did that. And so Bayern needed to get a, a, a new a new goalkeeper and as I'm speaking today on the Thursday Jan Sommer we have we have talked about that for a while Jan Sommer for Gladbach the Swiss goalkeeper have signed for them and he's not only signed for the rest of the season but because that kind of goalkeeper they had in Ulreich but they are signing Sommer for a longer period he's 34 but still is a chance for him to win trophies but also having said that I think that Bayern are not 100% sure that Manuel Neuer will be back in in top form because this, this is maybe a more serious injury than we think. We wish Manuel Neuer, he's 36, all the best, of course, been uh, one of the best goalkeepers or uh, some, for some time also the best goalkeeper in the world for nearly a generation. I also look forward to see what Eintracht Frankfurt, my club in Germany, will do. Being, they are involved in all uh, tournaments at the moment, the Cup. Champions League playing Napoli, wow, that's going to be a tough game for them. But with the encouragement of their fans, with, the, with everything that is in and around the club at the moment, with so much positive thing happening there that they will do well. I think they could have a good chance to knock Napoli out, although Napoli has been doing so well in Serie A in Italy, leading there, uh, of course. And so I will follow them. That is my team in Germany. And so I, I've always f f followed Borussia Dortmund very closely as well. I played in Germany. It was my first game playing at Westfalen Stadium. That was the name at my time there with the yellow wall and you'll never walk alone and a, and a very passionate fans. And of course, uh, in the period where Erling Haaland played there, I saw more or less all their games. But this season, remember, they, uh, they fired Marco Rosa. Marco Rosa is now having success by Marbe Leipzig. Uh, they fired him and put Edin Terzic in again after he'd been sitting in the stand as a technical director waiting. I'm not saying waiting for him to be fired. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't have the suspicious... Suspicious! I can't even say that. I wasn't uh, saying that. But what I, what I do see is that they have trouble now. Sebastian Kehl, the new head of sport, after Michael, uh, Michael Sork has been there for many, many years, Watzke, more and more a powerful man in, in German football. He uh, He's kind of the, the boss there, uh, not only a boss in, in, in German football, but now also the boss, of course, in Dortmund, where, where he has his base, and with his advisor, Ma, Ma, um, um, uh, Sammer. Uh, so, Matthias Sammer. And I got a feeling that they need to sort this out quite quickly, uh, because... If not, they're going to be struggling to be the main challenger to Bayern. There are so many teams in and around them that would like to take that position, like Leipzig, like Frankfurt, Leverkusen, Wuxavi, uh, a long way back, but they need to come there as well. But Dortmund, I'm very, I'm very excited to see how they will do in this season. I, I, th I got a feeling that that could be one of the main issues we'll talk about. But as a football fan, I always look forward to see the great players, and I will name three of them. Musiala in Bayern, he is one of the, well, maybe the only player who did well for them at the World Cup. Yes, Fulkrug scored some goals, but he is a fantastic football player. I just love watching Musiala play football and he's getting more and more uh, a bigger role for, for Bayern Munich. 
Uh, so that is a young kid I love to watch playing football. Another one, of course, Jude Bellingham. It's going to be a lot about Jude Bellingham in the next three, four months. It's like 99% that he will leave Dortmund. All clubs uh, are after him, all the big clubs. Favourites, meaning Liverpool, Real Madrid. I also say, being an Etihad today, not only saying that because maybe they're listening to me, but they will be in for him as well. So it's going to be a race about Jude Bellingham coming into this uh, last month of his time in Dortmund. And then Florian Wirtz, he was out with a crucial ligament, the Leverkusen playmaker, midfielder. I love to see him back. I love to see him back in his best form. And he's going to be one of the players that will kind of uh, play a big role in this uh, second half of the Bundesliga season. The good thing about German Bundesliga, there are so many young kids coming through, are young kids that uh, attract uh, the big clubs, especially in England. So um, it's going to be a lot of excitement. I will update you on the German Bundesliga, of course, on our YouTube channel. Uh, remember, that is maybe the only YouTube channel that do Engli uh, in English, uh, the German Bundesliga. So the German Fußball podcast, podcast will always be there for you.